I've had this same grill for about eight years and one of the things that I don't like is I think I'm on my fourth or fifth grill cover and this video mainly only pertains to grills that have these stacks on top of them. Uh, originally when I got it, it was in a box, I had to assemble it and it came with these blue foam inserts that were in the box that covered these and probably within the first two years those deteriorated from the cover being on top of those and sitting in the sun they just kind of disintegrated so those only held up for a little while but after my fourth grill cover I decided I needed to do something to save the grill covers because almost every grill cover that was on this grill was getting caught on these stacks especially these two I had to come up with a way to prevent the covers from getting torn up because once they get torn up they go downhill from there so what I came up with is this cover right here and there's many different ways to to make it you, know, you don't have to make it exactly this way in fact you don't even have to uh, if you were to just put these end pieces and then put some pieces going across as long as they're up above these and you rounded the corners off it would work just as easily or just as well big thing is just getting where these are not touching the cover and this wasn't like an all-out project to make perfect it was just to get it on there to protect the grill cover and it, it's pretty simple to make most important thing is rounding these corners because uh, those two will probably put some holes in the grill cover especially when you have a grill cover that's been sitting out in the sun and you pull it off they're more likely to rip. It's really easy to determine the curvature of this piece that sits right here. The easiest way to do this is just get a piece of cardboard and a marker. And that's how you determine the curve that you want to cut into the wood that sits right here. Just make sure you mark center. However wide your wood is, is going to determine how big of a piece of cardboard you're going to use. I recommend a wider piece versus a narrow piece because uh, it could potentially just fall off when you put the grill cover on. It's going to depend on the width of the wood that you use to do this. So you have to account for that when you measure. So if I was using a piece that was one and a half inches wide, I would want to make sure that I account for that and then go an inch and a half here as well to account for that. In this case it would be 43 inches from end to end, but you could make it wider. And there's so many different ways that you could do this. And then just make sure you measure the distance between the stacks. depth of the stack and then also measure the highest point of the stack as well so if you, if you just made these end pieces taller you wouldn't even have to cut these holes in here but having these holes in here allows the wood to lock onto these pieces so it's less likely to fall off but you could make those pieces just as tall as the stacks and then still put a piece across without putting any holes in it if that's what you wanted to do. In eight years on my fifth grill cover and this grill cover right here I've had for about a year and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it yet. I'm sure 
over time it will probably deteriorate just because of sun exposure weather exposure but I'm pretty sure it's going to last longer without getting holes in it that are just going to speed up its deterioration. One other thing that I would recommend if you do make one of these is coat it with some spar urethane for exterior use. It'll make it last, make the, the wood last longer as well. It doesn't need to be all pretty. It just has to serve its purpose and so far it's served its purpose. It does sit on there pretty firmly and it does because of the width of this wood here. This is two by uh, sixes which is basically one and a half by five and a half, five and a quarter. What also I mentioned previously is these stacks just barely stick up in inside these holes and also keeps it pretty sturdy. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.